L2 is a think tank for digital innovation, helping our prestige member brands increase their digital IQs. We have identified five trends that we believe will affect prestige brands in 2012. Mobile and iPad commerce will triple in 2012. In Q4 2010, global shipments of smartphones and tablets exceeded shipments of PCs for the first time. U.S. consumers spend 94 minutes a day on mobile apps versus just 72 minutes a day browsing the web. Affluent users are even more active. While 7% of overall web traffic in the U.S. is registered from a mobile device, 14% of search volume for prestige brands occurs on a smartphone. The iPad only amplifies these metrics. Many prestige brands have registered conversion rates two to three times higher on an iPad than on a traditional PC. Facebook will begin to show ROI. Over the past 24 months, prestige brands have made significant investments building their Facebook communities. However, while many icons, including Chanel, Dior, and Gucci, boast pages of 5 million plus, brands are still trying to unlock how to monetize their communities. Some brands, including Diane von Furstenberg, Luxitan, and Tory Burch, have turned to f-commerce. Although these initiatives generate significant press and signal innovation to their consumers, conversion rates and sales are often a fraction of what they see on other digital channels. The powerful data around Facebook return on investment is the incremental traffic the platform generates. Facebook behemoth Burberry recently reached 10 million fans. In 2010, 1.9% of traffic to Burberry.com originated from Facebook. In 2011, the percentage of traffic from Facebook skyrocketed to 29%. Furthermore, Burberry fans are 10 times more likely to visit the Burberry site, suggesting they aren't only advocates, but also customers. Tumblr, Instagram, and Pinterest are words you'll hear more of. Emerging platforms Tumblr, Instagram, and Pinterest all boast highly visual interfaces and attractive, female-centric user bases that fit hand-in-glove with most prestige brands' digital marketing strategies. Blogging platform Tumblr boasts more than 13 billion page views per month, with a retention rate estimated at 85%, versus just 45% for its older microblogging sibling, Twitter. Brands from Alexander McQueen to Donna Karen have a robust presence on the platform. Despite being isolated to Apple iOS users, photo filtering app Instagram reached 100 million uploaded photos in June 2011, just eight months after launch. Flickr took more than two years to reach the same milestone. Pinterest is social media's newest darling. The curation engine is now popular with brands ranging from Oscar de la Renta to Bergdorf Goodman. E-commerce in China will be prestige brands' biggest opportunity within five years. The prestige consumer in China is young, digitally native, and obsessed with luxury. Yet many prestige brands are still going to market with huge investments in theater retail and tier one cities. We believe that brands who will win in the Chinese market will invest in robust e-commerce sites that allow them to reach consumers in Tier 2 and Tier 3 Chinese cities, where 75% of wealth creation is expected to take place. Recent data in the skincare and cosmetics industry highlights this tremendous opportunity. In 2005, online sales of skincare and cosmetics brands in China represented just 2% of overall sales. Just five years later, online sales skyrocketed to 11% of overall retail, significantly outpacing mature markets in the U.S. and the U.K. and just behind online juggernaut Korea. We have seen the enemy, and it's not who you think it is. A 2010 survey of affluence with an average household income of 300000 plus indicated that 64% had made a purchase online. The same survey in 2011 suggests that in just a year, the number jumped to a whopping 92%. When asked their favorite e-commerce sites, they indicated Zappos, Overstock, Groupon, eBay, and number one, Amazon. Amazon is growing at five times the rate of overall retail and three times the rate of e-commerce in the U.S. Even more staggering, the retail juggernaut currently registers a 37% share of all m-commerce transactions in the U.S. In our 2011 Digital IQ Index, Beauty, we find that more brands registered Amazon as the top upstream and downstream site than Sephora. Surprisingly, prestige beauty brands, which have no active presence on the Amazon platform, often drive the most traffic, suggesting consumers might be going to the site to compare prices. 
We believe Amazon is at the center of a tectonic retail shift, and brands that do not proactively address the impact of Amazon on their channel strategy risk falling behind.